There we go. Boom. Perfect. Hey, everybody. Live, 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 live from Dom's trailer. There it is. I'm going to look and see if you, there are any questions online. And if there are, I'm going to try and answer them. There are bugs in my trailer today. This is super annoying. What? No spoilers. No spoilers? I'm being told that I can't give any spoilers, which is a shame because I was going to tell everybody what happens. Um, but I'm being told that I can't, I can't, can't do that. So, sorry. I was gonna. But I can't. So, there you go. A lot of people ask me where I got my sleeping bag from. Amazon. I got it from Amazon. Uh, this is where I get all of my purchases. Um, questions. There's a lot of hellos. Hello to everybody. I'll say hello to everybody. What kind um, of music does Jace listen to while playing on the piano? What kind of music does Jace listen to? I think it depends on the mood. I think it depends on what kind of frame of mind he's in. Um, when someone said, where's Matt, bro? Uh, he's, uh, I don't know where he is. I haven't asked him. I, um, thank you for, thank you for this calm. I don't know what that means. Uh, what else we got? When does the new series start? April 3rd, right? April 3rd? Pretty sure. April 3rd, 2018. Um, are you coming to Montreal on your next break? I would love to come to Montreal. It's in, it's in my list of, uh, Places to go. Who swears more, me or Matt? Um, I think that's pretty even between the two of us. I, I wouldn't say anyone swears more than any of the others. What can I say about Jace? I can say that he is going through a fairly turbulent time today. Um, and in general, this whole season, it's not super easy for him. Um, why am I not speaking with my accents? Because I'm on set still. I'm still filming. Yeah. Yeah. You want to come in? Matt's going to come say hello. Hi, there he Mark. is. Boom. Hi. Ow. <laughs> gotcha. Matt's right here. Matt D'Addario. Let's see what's going on. How many people are talking? The Netherlands. Netherlands? Uh, wait. Is that you playing the piano? It was yes, me it playing was. the piano. Yeah, and then we had a double for the bits that I couldn't play because I didn't know the song very well. He's actually got a piano in his house. He I works do. hard. I do. He's also got lots of instruments. He's a great musician. All right, I'll see you later. Mm. See you later, right, buddy. Um, I'll see you the weekend. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Um, will there be a lot of drama this season? More drama than you could possibly imagine. It's like insane how much there is. I'm not even really caught up with it. It's crazy. Um, will there be a marathon prior to the new season? Um, as, like, as far as viewing goes, that's not really up to me, but I would guess so. Yeah, I would guess they would do a marathon. Um, I think it's all available on Hulu, too, I'm pretty sure. Um, what, say something about Clace this season. Uh, ooh, it's, uh, well... Nobody's ever really happy for a very long time in this in this show. They seem to just find turbulent, turbulent periods for us, and uh, we're in one of those. So, there's that. Where's my Spider-Man onesie? I think it's here. But it's like but my it's cold outside, so my trailer is really warm. But wait, where is it? See, there it is. And when I have lots of time on set, I put this on and just kind of. Just a minute. I just like roam around in it and stuff's pretty awesome. Um, it was, mm -hmm, can't answer that. Um, if Jace could borrow any powers of the Downworlders, um, I think probably a Warlock would be, I mean, Magnus is pretty powerful, you know? Um, but this season we're going to see little chinks in Magnus's armor, which, which um, I think is an interesting concept for him. Um, and for all of us to see that side of him, which um, I really like, and working with Harry is always just a dream because the guy's insanely good and insanely talented. Are you guys going to stick to the book series? Um, well, we, now we talk about this quite a lot. We, we're trying on and off to stick to it as much as we can, but also it's important that we keep things fresh and keep things new and keep people excited. So as much as we can, we will do that been off Twitter. I have. I have been off Twitter quite a bit and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but it's like a personal choice with personal effects to me um, and the benefits outweighed the negatives of mostly like animosity and animosity to, with people towards other people. And I think, I think it's important for everyone like let's try and not argue on Twitter. Like if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying or what someone else says or whatever, that's fine, but don't argue with each other because, you know, that's time that 
you could be spent smiling doing something else. So I think it's probably best that you do that. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, how difficult is the switch between your natural accent and your characters? So um, the reason I'm talking like this right now is because I'm on set and I will be going back to set at some point. Um, so, I, so it's easier for me to stay in an American accent the whole way through. So um, it's kind of like second nature now. It's something that I've gotten fairly good at, but um, at the beginning it was, yeah, it was difficult snapping in and out and talking to, like, my mom and stuff on the phone. She doesn't really like talking to me when I talk like this because mm -hmm. that's not her son, you know? She, I don't talk like this naturally. Um, do I have an extensive uh, exercise regime? Yeah, I mean, we just, we try. I was here uh, four weeks before the show started and I worked out three times a day to get ready for the stuff that we needed to do and I had stunt training and martial arts training once a day for a month um, which was hard work but it was a lot of fun with the team and um, now we're filming you just kind of try and you know fit it in when you can fit it in um, am I training more than last season you'll see this season that J Jace has had less of an opportunity to fight he's kind of in an emotional battle right now more than anything else and um, people who've read the books you'll think you know what's going on but it's not exactly like that so it's gonna be a little bit different a little bit strange um, are there any other projects besides Shadowhunters that I'm working on there's I actually just found out about something very exciting today so watch this space um, who who is my favorite character in the show uh, I think Luke is my favorite character in the show because he is he's been through more than kind of any of us you know he was part of the first uprising and then he lost the love of his life and now is dealing with Clary constantly getting into trouble and uh, he's still a father father figure to to everybody um, even Jace Jace and Luke have had some scenes this season where Luke has offered his paternal advice which has been really wonderful and it's great to work with Isaiah in that capacity too, that gentle um, loving side of him which is really nice. Uh, what was it? Uh, why is Alex Parabatai ruined upside down? Probably because when he looked down he had to draw it and he was like looking at it upside down? That would be my guess. Um, who is the most playful person on set? Nicola and I have a lot of fun. And we've been having more scenes together recently, which is nice. Nicola, Matt, and I, and Emerald's, Emerald's a lot of fun, too. She's, she likes jokes. She likes to tell jokes, but they're not always very good. But she's very... I, we, we love her. I love her. She's, she's the best. Um, hey, 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 from Jersey. What's up, Jersey? They're going by really fast. The, the people are... Can I pause yeah, these? Oh, I can? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I didn't know that. Uh, if I could pick a crossover. What did I think of the Seely Court kiss? I thought that they use pussy willows in a lot of those scenes, which are like these little flowers, they're little like dandelions, and they pump them in the air. Um, and that sucks, because they keep going in your mouth and in your face and in your eyes and stuff, which is awful. But um, other than that, it was great. It was a great scene, except for poor Simon. It wasn't great for him. Uh, it was really sad. I didn't, you know, I didn't see his reaction on the day, because I was mid-kissing. And then I watched it, and I know, oh, it's heartbreaking. Poor guy. Will there be good Parabatai scenes this season? We actually just read one that's like all about Parabatai, not just Parabatai, but also Jace's relationship with uh, with Isabel, um, which is interesting and fun, and it's nice, and it goes back through our history of like our upbringing and stuff, which is really nice. How long does it take to do the tattoos? Um, so I'm assuming you mean the runes. It depends on the day, so because they have to cover like my real tattoos too. Um, so if it's just, if you can just see my arms on the day, then that takes about 25 to 40 minutes and then, but with my face too. Um, but if I'm shirtless, then they have to cover all my tattoos and then put all of my runes on and that takes about an hour. Um, who's the prankster on set? You know, this, this season it's been, we've been dealing with some pretty heavy emotional stuff. So there haven't been as many pranks this year, um, just because we're all fairly often in a fairly kind of heavy emotional place. Um, Italy is waiting for me. It's cool. I want to go back to Italy. I had a lot of fun there last time, so hopefully it you know it happens again because that would be fun. 
Um, who would be a good parabatai for Izzy? We're going to see Izzy. Uh, we're going to see Izzy in lots of dis different capacities this year. Um, I don't think she wants a parabatai. I think she's uh, she's you know she's she's strong on her own, and she's proven that time and time again that the strongest the three of them will ever be are with each other. Alec, Izzy, and uh, and uh, Jace. I forgot my own character's name for a second there. Um, and um, if they have to be on their own, I think the strongest one of the three of them on their own is Isabel, um, because Alec and Jace rely on each other so heavily. Um, uh, Chase's, uh, do you write about Jace's childhood in my journal? Um, so for those of you that don't know, for every new character I play, I write a, a journal, um, kind of from that character's point of view, and it helps me get into their mindset based on what they're giving me in the scripts and what I know about their past. Um, so I did write a little about Jace's past, but it was the past that that we got from the scripts as opposed to the past that um, was necessarily laid down in the books because I don't know exactly what they are and are not going to use from the books to the show. So I had to base my journal entries on what we're doing in the show and talking to the showrunners and doing this, that, and the other. There's been a lot of journal entries this year. Um, you'll see. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, what is the biggest challenge for being Jace this season? Duplicity. That's a good one, right? Yeah, I can use that word. Duplicity. Duplicitous nature. It's not going to make any sense until you watch the show, but there you go. When you watch the show, you'll be like, oh, that's what he meant. Maybe. I don't know. Um, well, my bestie and I are going to get a parabatai rune tattooed on us. Is there a rune... You would get tattooed in your real life. I have two. I have, um, oh, it's covered up. There's, this one always gets covered up, but the talent rune is here, and then I have the angelic rune on the back of my calf. Um, Tom, as soon as my parabatai bond, will it be explored more? Yes, we're going to see more about the, uh, in relation to the parabatai rune this season, uh, and the parabatai bond, sorry, this season more and more. Um, and especially when stuff starts to get really dark and really heavy for either of the two characters, they they feed off that with each other and obviously we saw at the end of season two that Alec knows something's up with Jace because of the whole he died thing and um, we get to play with that a little more and discover that because Jace is keeping it a secret um, for now and yeah we get to we get to see kind of why and where that leads Alec and Jace later on who am I with on set today so I am I just finished a scene with Matt and I'm about to move on to a scene with Ollie um, in the nighttime. Nighttime scene with Ollie. Uh, what is the hardest scene to shoot so far? I can't really say too much um, about like w w what we're doing that hasn't aired, but uh, I have I have one coming up. I have a day of scenes coming up that is going to be really hard work between um, Izzy and Alec and myself, and I think it's going to be. Um, hard for all of us. It's going to be a, it's pretty heavy. Reading it was pretty heavy, so we got that coming up. Um, well, I want to see a scene between Magnus and Jace. This season... Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we have Magnus-Jace scenes coming up. Yes, we do. Yes, yes, yes. I uh, can't say any more about them, though, because it's going to give everything away, so... Sorry. Um, what will be my Halloween costume? So I have I had a cool one set up and I was pretty excited about it and I'm hoping I'm still gonna be able to use it so I'm not gonna tell anybody yet. It's one of the Batman villains, kind of. He was also a, a hero for a while. If you can guess it based on those, then you should let me know. Um, tweet me and see if you can guess what it is on what my Batman vill my villain and hero costume is gonna be. It's one character, but it turns out we're actually gonna be away. We're at, we're gonna be out of town for the weekend, um, a couple of us. So it's not. I, I, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to wear it when I want to wear it, but I'll probably still wear it at some point. Um, this is the season for Lilith. Lilith is uh, in this season. Yes, that's all I can say. But she's played by Anna Hopkins, who's who's pretty amazing. Um, she's been really wonderful to work with so far, and I'm sure she's going to be great also in the future. Uh, it's not Nightwing. I did Nightwing last year, but uh, good good guess. Um, do, are you excited to do Paris this summer? I'm very excited to do Paris this summer. I unfortunately missed out last year because I was uh, 
think I was busy. Was I doing some? I can't remember. But um, uh, yes, I I am very excited to come and meet all of you in Paris. Do you have an English background? I do. I have an English background. That's cute. I am uh, entirely British. This accent is all a facade for the character. It's all fake. But in real life, I am in fact British. Let me hear a song. Can, can I sing in the show? Now, a lot of people have been asking me this, and I'm not really sure why, because I'm not a fantastic singer, and the singer, the singing stuff should really go like Cat. She enjoys it, and she just released that single, uh, Embers, which you should all go check out, because it's very good. Um, but that's not, that's not really something that I'm necessarily interested in. Um, I like acting, and I enjoy that, but no, singing is really more of a, I like doing it on my own at home. And it's like a cathartic thing. I'll write songs when I'm sad or when I'm happy or whatever. Uh, am I coming to the UK? I'm going to come back home over Christmas, but um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any conventions or not. Uh, Megan. Someone just said, can you say hi to my daughter, Megan? And yes, I can. Hi, Megan. How are you? Hope you're having a good day. I don't know who said that, but so we, so I don't know if it's a joke or not anymore, but they do keep like playing with the idea of a musical episode, which I'm, I don't think I'm, I don't know. I, I tell you what, if you can get Matt to sing in the episode, then I'll do a musical episode. Yeah, why not? Doing for time? Um, okay, so that that's it. I gotta go. Do I do my own stunts on the show? Most of them. I'm gonna answer the next two questions. Um, are we gonna see Paul Wesley direct again? I don't know. I hope so, though, because we love him. Uh, me and my friends cosplay and did Clary Frey as well as Lightwood and female version of Jace Wayland, and we love the runes. Do you like all the runes? I do like all the runes. Ooh, uh, Nicola Lefebvre... Oh, wait, let me go back, because I'm going to butcher your name, and I'm sorry. Lefebvre... Or... Um, I don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry. Uh, but you got it right. Um... Is there any other show I'd like to be a part of? There are a thousand shows that I'd like to be a part of. The Walking Dead is my number one. It's up there. Um, when are y'all coming to Missouri? I don't know. Soon. I mean, I want to. I want to try and see as much of the world as possible. My three-year-old wanted to go as Jace for Halloween. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. Okay, uh, that's it. I'm out. I'm being told that it's time for me to leave. Uh, it's been so nice talking to all of you. I love you all so so much. Thank you so much for um, spending time with goofy old me and uh, let's just remember to try and be happy and pleasant with each other because more and more I'm seeing aggression and negativity not just on Twitter but in the world and um, and it's it's kind of heartbreaking and I don't want any of that to be in any way in relation to me or um, the show so if you're upset about something that's okay and voice your opinion that's totally fine but please don't argue with one another you can be upset with me and that's cool but don't argue with one another because you know you're all you're all friends and you're all united with a, the love of the show. Whether it's for you know the other characters or the story or whatever, but just try not to argue with each other because I think uh, love spreading positivity and love is what's going to make the world go round. So thank you so much again, and uh, I love you.